Hello viewers, in this video we explain dynamic stability of market price with the help of integral calculus where we use the technique of differential equation to study the stability of market price. Suppose a question is given as in a market demand and supply functions are given by qd is equal to 14 minus twice p q as equal to minus 10 plus twice p if the change in price over time is equal to 4 times of excess demand that is dp by dt is equal to 4 times of difference of demand and supply test the stability of market price. Solution given that this is the demand function and this is supply function and this is dp by dt is equal to 4 times of difference of demand and supply. Here it is equation number 1, equation number 2 and it is equation number 3. Now substituting equation 1 and 2 in equation 3 we get dp by dt is equal to 4 times of qd is 14 minus ts p minus qs is equal to minus 10 plus twice p so 4 14 minus ts p plus 10 minus twice p so 4 times of 24 minus 5 p so 96 minus 20 p so therefore dp by dt is found 96 minus twice p or dp by dt plus 20p is equal to 96. So, equation number 4. Thus, equation number 4 is a differential equation or it is a first order differential equation with constant term 20 sorry constant coefficient 20 and constant term 96. Since the power of this derivative term is 1, so it is a first order linear differential equation with constant coefficient 20 and constant term 96. Now, we know that The general solution of the differential equation dy by dx plus a y equal to b is y x equal to y 0 minus b by a multiplied by e to the power minus a into x plus b by a. Here the variable is y dependent variable is y and independent variable is x and in equation 4 the dependent variable is price and independent variable is t. Therefore, the solution of equation 4 is p t equal to p within bracket 0 minus b by a b means here 96 and a means 20 e to the power minus a a means 20 x x means here t so 20 t plus 
96 by 20. So, Pt is equal to P within bracket 0 minus 96 divided by 20 is nothing but 24 by 5 into e to the power minus 20t plus 24 by 5. So, equation number this is equation number 5. So, equation number 5 is the solution of equation number 4. Again, the market equilibrium price is obtained by equating demand function and supply function that is QD equal to QS. Again, QD is equal to 40, 14 minus thais P is equal to minus 10 plus thais P. Solving this equation, we get minus thais P minus twice P equal to minus 10 minus 14 that is minus thais sorry 5 P is equal to minus 24 that means P is equal to 24 by 5 and this is the P bar. So, equilibrium price P bar is found 24 by 5. Therefore, in equation 5, this 24 by 5 is nothing but the equilibrium price that is P bar. Therefore, equation 5 becomes P t equal to P 0 minus P bar because P bar is equal to 24 by 5 e to the power minus 20 t plus p bar. So, this is equation number 6. Equation 6 is called the time part of price p t. Now, s t tends to infinity that is with the passage of time e to the power minus 20 into t it is a this portion is equal to 1 by e to the power 20 t tends to 0 because this is 1 by e to the power 20 t as the power of e increases as because of t tends to infinity the value of this portion that is 1 divided by e to the power 20 t will tends to 0. Then in equation 6 we get p t is equal to 0 because this portion will be 0 as t tends to infinity. So, we can write this portion is 0 plus p bar and that is will be equal to p bar. Thus, we can say that as t tends to infinity, so p t tends to p bar that is the time part of price p t or current price tends to equilibrium price p bar or with the passage of time t the time part of price p t will converge to the equilibrium price p bar and that is equal to 24 by 5. Since the current price P or time part of price P T converts to the equilibrium price P bar as the passage of time the market price is said to be 
dynamically stable. Therefore, in this market model, we get that the market price is dynamically stable. Diagrammatically, the concept of dynamic stability of price is like this. See, this is the curve for time. And this x shows the price that is P t or time part of price P t. If it is the equilibrium price, the curve for equilibrium price that is here P bar, here it is 0. If initial price that is P0 is greater than P bar, then dance dynamically stable stability of price or time part of price will be like this. If it is the P0 initial price, then it will tends to be equivalent to the equilibrium price line P bar with the passage of time. On the other hand, if the initial price is less than P bar, then say this is the P initial price P0, then the time part of price will be is going to be equivalent to the coincide equivalent or coincide to the equilibrium price line P bar. Thus, if the initial price is converges to the equilibrium price with the passage of time, then it is called the dynamically stable price or this is the idea of dynamic stability of market price. In our example, we have, we have found that the market price is dynamically stable. Hope you have cleared the idea of dynamic, dynamic stability of market price and hope you have learned how to analyze the dynamically stability of a market of the market price in a market model. Thank you.